Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In 2010, the Pontiac division of General Motors received a very interesting complaint from one of its customers. The person explained to the customer executive that his car hated vanilla ice cream. Thinking that it was a prank call, the customer care executive shunned the call. But the customer was relentless and dropped multiple emails to the president of the Pontiac division. They finally decided to look into the issue of the customer. The customer explained that he had a habit of getting ice cream every night after dinner. Whenever he gets vanilla ice cream from the local store, the car just wouldn't start. But the car starts just fine when he gets any other flavor. Intrigued by this bizarre complaint, the company sent an engineer to the man's house to investigate the problem. Moving on, the engineer and the man went to the store to get a chocolate ice cream. The car started just fine. The next day, they went to the store to get vanilla ice cream. Just as the customer explained, the car did not start. The engineer was shocked to see this truth. To be sure, the engineer returned for three more nights. The first night, they got chocolate, the car started. The second night, they got strawberry the car started again. The third night, they ordered vanilla. The car failed to start. The engineer, being a logical man, refused to believe this. Therefore, he arranged to continue his visits for as long as it took to solve the problem. And towards the end, he began to take notes. He jotted down all sorts of data, time of day, type of gas used, time to drive back and forth, etc. After a few trials, he got a clue. The man took less time to buy vanilla than any other flavor. And why is that? The answer was in the layout of the store. Vanilla being the most popular flavor was in a separate case at the front of the store for quick pickup. All the other flavors were kept in the back of the store at a different counter where it took considerably longer for it to be checked out. The engineer referred to the points he jotted down and finally found the problem. It was vapor lock. Vapor lock is a problem that occurs in gasoline engines due to the vaporization of the liquid fuel inside the fuel delivery system. This prevents further entry of fuel into the fuel lines and stops the engine. This problem normally occurs when the fuel lines are heated due to the heat from the engine. Because of this, the fuel in the fuel lines vaporizes. To fully grasp why vapor lock occurs, you need to have a good understanding of how a carburetor works. Lucky for you, we have made a video on it, so check it out. The link is in the description below. When the fuel vapor is drawn into the fuel pumps, it can change the pressure inside the pumps. This could completely drain the fuel in the float chamber, causing fuel starvation in the engine. Even a temporary disruption of the fuel supply into the float chamber is not ideal as most carburetors are designed to run at a fixed level of fuel in the float bowl. Reducing the level could cause an imbalance in the air-fuel mixture delivered to the engine. Sometimes the vaporized fuel also starves the engine by stopping the fuel flow entirely. When the bubbles of vapor form, they stagnate in the fuel line and cut off the supply to the carburetor entirely. This stops the fuel flow to the engine completely, effectively stopping it. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel to get more videos on interesting topics. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.